right, so we've got an ingot mold right here. The first thing we're going to do is coat that with soot. And then we'll preheat the crucible. So the ingot mold is coated with soot. Like so. Now we're going to preheat the crucible. Preheat the crucible. Once the crucible is radiating color, we're going to add our metal to alloy. And then once that happens, we've stirred thoroughly, we will add our regular charge of pre-alloyed metal. So now that we're hot, move the torch away, add your two metals, copper and fine silver. We're just going to cook it down nice and slow. metal is fully molten, we want to continue to stir it, and with alloy, you're going to stir it, you're going to stir it, and then when you think you're done stirring it, you're going to stir it some more. And once all of that metal is fully molten and fluid, and then stirred, we're going to add our final charge of pre-alloyed metal, pulling the torch away, adding our metal, and then coming back take a little bit longer to heat up, but it's better to make sure you have a fully molten charge before you add the rest of your charge so that it doesn't all ice over completely and all that heat gets sucked into the crucible. So you're just waiting for everything to go molten again. You've got your inch and a half of blue cone of the acetylene. That's your electron donor keeping the metal nice and clean. You're just trying to make sure that no oxygen is coming in to burn the metal. And once it all goes down, you want to stir with the graphite rod that's introducing carbon. And you're stirring not just the surface, but also the bottom of the crucible to make sure that there aren't any solid pieces of metal that haven't fully gone molten. So there's still some solid chunks at the bottom feel that it's not a hemisphere of a crucible, but there's a couple of buttons that look like they're probably halfway through solid to liquid phase. I'm just stirring around to make sure that all the oxides are reduced on the surface. We want our metal to be a high gloss. Anything that floats to the surface just sweep away. If you need to add flux, whether it's borax or something else, you're using the fused silica rod, that will help clean your metal as well.
This looks pretty good though. We've got a nice uniform flow. Everything's very glossy. We're just gonna work our way through these cuttlefish and see how many we can get done. Once again, switch your torch hand to your non-dominant hand. Your dominant hand is the one that holds the core. You wanna keep your heat on your metal at all times as you pour. Wait till you see metal come all the way to the top. There's not enough to do the second pour, so we're gonna wait. Okay, so at this point we have all of our pieces cast and we can start breaking down the wiring. Just remember we're not trying to quench the cuttlefish bone, just the piece that is wrapped. So we're just going to cut all the wiring away so that we can separate part AB from part C. And you can see we have some casting of the prongs, which is beautiful. And you can also see where we had a little bit of material pour it out of the side in that initial casting, okay? We're gonna unwrap parts A and B. And just remember, your piece can be very hot, right? This calcium carbonate is very good at insulating heat. So you don't wanna go grabbing in there to get your part. I know you might be excited, but if you reach in, you could burn yourself. So you wanna pull out your part, if you can. Got a long screw and a good solid button. A little extra flashing that we can trim off, no problem. You can see it's paper thin, right? So that works out really well. It's over to the camera here. Nice button. And then we have the second piece that cast. We're just gonna trim those down the sides. Open that up. And grab the part that's on the interior. Again, you can see a band ring with a nice button. Drop that in the quench bucket. There we go. And over here, the second piece is that were not cast on camera, just other demo parts. Again, we've clipped our sides. We're gonna open it, make sure our part is there. Fell into the pumice. Good. And there's our part. Right. And last but not least, you can see we got a nice, beautiful cast in that core. So we're going to discard that back her face and then again grab it by the button and quench. Okay. So there you go, bunch of different types of casting, cuttlefish cast.